the setup itself is, uh, is, is the start of the design of the painting. Uh, you're thinking about the relationships between the masses of the ginger jar and the carnations. For instance, you wouldn't want to have a huge rose and a tiny little ginger jar, or vice versa, a tiny little pansy and a, and a huge ginger jar. You want to make sure that the design has some type of aesthetic appeal to it. Canvas that I prepared myself. It's uh, a double weave linen uh, made by Utrecht. Uh, it's number 74D, and I prepared it myself with uh, two coats of rabbit skin glue and two coats of lead priming. Now the lead priming is, of course, toxic, and you have to take the proper precautions. Um, I found that with proper precautions that it, it hasn't affected my, um, my health in any way. I've got my lead levels checked every year and it's, it's actually below normal and I use it every day. But I do take precautions. You can't ingest the particles uh, through the air. The main, the main problem with do, using lead is sanding it. So you have to be very careful when you're sanding the uh, canvas. Making an, a beautiful painting. Uh, it's a tightrope. You have to, you know, love what you're doing and 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 try to concentrate as uh, getting those leaves and everything. But at the same time, uh, the overriding idea is to make it make it beautiful, make it make a nice painting, and if it. Uh, at, at times you may have to depart from uh, li literal, but what, what you ultimately might find is that what you've depicted is more real than if you had done each individual grape. <coughs> You got to take good care of your brushes. Um, or else they'll splay out and or get dirty and it'll hold your painting back despite your best efforts. But the key to cleaning brushes, people, is hold it by the furrow. Once you've got your soap in it, work it out like this so that the pigment comes out from the base of the furrow. If you get into the habit of sticking it down in the, in the soap, the paint builds up here and eventually you're painting with a broom like this. Work it out to the end. That'll do. Thank you. I've tried to incorporate a lot of the concepts and approaches and techniques that you've seen in this demonstration today in, in a book that I've just had published called On Becoming a Painter. It's available here. Uh, I've tried to include in it as much information as I can about this type of approach to painting and the philosophy that underlies this type of painting. <laughs>